It's Friday, November 20th, 2009, our last show here in New York until you see us again in Vegas, Las Vegas baby. on Vegas. Monday. Looking forward to it. Going to be a great weekend for us there and a, Very and a lot of fun all week. Lots of uh, excitement Encore, happening. Encore, Wynn Hotel. Come on, what are we talking about? What more about? do you want? The best there is. Mm -hmm. You know, all week I've been trying to get to this story with you because it was in the Sunday Times last week. You have been promising me this story for a week. Well, I think it's a monumental shift in, in how uh, men are getting along with women and what they're looking for in women now. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, you know, all those jokes about cougars and all that talk. <laughs> Uh, cougars are very important now to a man, especially young men. <laughs> they desire the coog rather than, you know, a, a young, young girl. The coog. Listen, this is from the New York Times. Thank you very much. Now, here you go. In the swirl of attention around older women coupling with younger men, it seems the guys are increasingly the ones on the prowl. They love the cougar. Despite research to the contrary, it is the men, she says, the cougars say, who are clamoring for more. They know. The cougars feel it. The young men are after them. And here's the reason why. They are not so nitpickety and naggy, and there's not a lot of pressure. Young women put pressure on young men, and they don't like that. The cougs, they're just... I'm telling you, ladies of all ages, and I mean this, ladies of all ages, if you want a guy to be interested in you, you must ignore him! <laughs> There's a place called the Watering Hole here in New York where they have a wait list for men who want to meet coos. I mean, the Watering Hole. Can we come up with a better... New York Times I'm I quoting know. from. All right. So this guy got in line, and they each get four minutes apiece with oh, the cook. Oh, speed dating. I've heard about yeah, this. Yes, speed, speed dating. dating. Right. In four minutes, you're supposed to know whether or not, hey, this is for you. Okay. Uh, Fifteen women on the speed dating event typically drew more... Cubs than cougs. <laughs> what does that tell you? Young men are flocking around the cougs. Now, here's the age difference. Okay. Men from 23 to 31. Oh, wait a minute. And the women, 35 to 56. I, I think told you a cougar you was did. considered you just told me 35 that. No, and I always older. thought the date was 40 years old. Right. You know? And I think 40 is fair. I think 35 is still quite. And I think 40 is kind of a young age. At my age, what? who isn't young? <laughs> You'll get there one day and you'll feel like I do. <laughs> anyway, so what do you think of this? Um, Older women are more sophisticated and, frankly, more experienced. Mm, more sexually experienced. That, so. Well, sure. Why well, wouldn't so there they you go. be? So what do you, what do you want from a young guy? Um, I just don't know. I mean, I feel like, I feel like, and this is me speaking yeah. on behalf of myself, I might be bored with a young guy. Because? I don't know. What would I say to him? Hey, want to play Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good start. <laughs> hey, is your mom there? I want to know if she wants to go see Wayne Newton in Vegas, baby. <laughs> But you know, years ago, young men would not be seen with an older woman because they'd be ridiculed and, and ribbed to death. You know, by, by their other right. buddies. But now sure. it's, it's a badge of honor. Right. New York Times. Well, look at that movie, um, uh, The Graduate. You know, when, when oh, Dustin, yeah. Dustin Hoffman and Anne Bancroft, Anne Bancroft played his uh, friend's uh, uh, mother, right? But they right. were five years apart in age. Anne That's Bancroft right. was uh, 35 years But she years was old. playing an older. She was playing an older woman. And that was the kind of like a, a kickoff as to what's to come in the future. Yeah. She was sort of predicting. Because I think that women in general, I think that we all sort of take better care of ourselves. Yeah. And so we're, yeah, yeah. you know. Looking better than we're ever. We're looking doper and flyer, ladies. And that's a good thing. But here's the deal. Now, what happens to uh, <clears throat> older the older men? Yes, excuse me. Mm. Yes. If, you don't, if I could bring them up for just a minute. Uh, the older guys, who do they have to turn to? I guess they have to turn to the younger girls. <laughs> Hasn't that been going on for hundreds of thousands of Hundreds of years. Of years. The cats. The, the cats. kitties. They go to the kitties. So, as you approach cougarhood. Yes. You're not I, there. You're not there. Not I don't there. care what anybody says. Okay, you're not there. Okay, I think I am, but Well, not. one day you will be a right. coog. Uh -huh. And uh, you better get, you know, used to it. But what does that mean? Do you, are you 
Are you saying that Mark Consuelos won't be there? Well, first of all, he's much younger than you. Isn't he? <laughs> he's much younger. He's six whole months. Well, younger. that's what I mean. <laughs> but according to Regis and Mark, I have robbed the cradle. And I am... Oh, Mark feels that way oh, too. Oh, Mark constantly says he goes. Well, you know, you know how you ladies that marry younger men are. And I'm like, no. What do you mean? Uh -huh. What exactly specifically? He goes. Well, I'm a younger man. You know, you robbed the cradle. And I'm like, you're six months. Your birthday is in March. Mine is in. October. <laughs> Let's not get excited. You tell them, Pippa. All right, what else is going on? You know, we're doing a lot of traveling this week. Now, here's the latest on the surcharges. Three airlines will extend and raise their surcharges for the busiest days of the year. So unfair. Those days around holidays when everybody has to go see you. Unfair. Ten, twenty dollars. Not even an extra bag of pretzels for your trouble. The ten and twenty dollar surcharge has now been raised to fifty dollar surcharge, and I love that name, surcharge. It's Robbery! Robbery! How about this? The U.S. Treasury would like donations from all of the American citizens <laughs> to help pay off the national debt. Please. The last thing I want to do. They're taking most of what I get anyway. <laughs> They can't handle with that. They want a donation on top of that. The debt is now $12 million. $12 trillion! Million! million. Forget million. Peanuts! $12 trillion. <laughs> Can you believe $12 trillion? Trillion. Trillion. <laughs> Trouble I'm, and suck it, Ash. It's $12 trillion? I've been twittering too much. How did it get all the way up to $12 trillion? <laughs> <laughs> And here's some bad news for California. Oh, no. Yeah. There was a time there where a, a, a beach in San Clemente, and I was there years ago, uh, was all nude. That was your, your little nude uh, sanctuary, more or less. And is that where you would nude sunbathe? Uh, Could we find Regis Philbin frolicking nude on the beach? If you were lucky, uh, you might uh, get a view of him, yeah. <laughs> So you've gone nude on the no, beach. No, I haven't, but I remember the beach being there. I'm kidding with you. But it was a lot of fun. But anyway, <laughs> no, you can't do it two, two shows in a row. You know? There you are. There Stop you are. it. Stop it. I remember that, that was Puerto Rico in my prime. <laughs> That's anyway, right. no more nude beaches in California. No That's a beaches. state law. That's, Why are they banning I don't nude know. beaches? They just had enough of you where walking will, around. Where will nude people go? They're going to have to put on their clothes like everybody else. <laughs> put on their little thongs and all of that. Gilman used to. I thought Gilman was nude many times and he was in a thong. <laughs> Oh, yeah, one more thing. My conductor, Stan Learlo, has an engagement all on his own. It's a synagogue in Louisville, Kentucky, Congregation Adith, Jerusalem. That's Sunday night, and Stan Learlo will perform for you, and I hope you have a good time with him down there in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, today on our show, Giant Show, one of the most beautiful women of the world. It's true. Lately, that's all you hear about is how beautiful she is. Penelope Cruz will be out here. <laughs> Here. <laughs> we were talking about him, and he's the one that bulked up to get that role, That's right? right. Yeah. He is that, uh, that shirtless go? wolf, oh, as I and, like to call him. And listen to this. Today, we are going to go behind the scenes. We talked about this last week. Kelly and Mark reappearing on All My Children. First That's time right. back on that show in eight years. They're going to be, you'll see it in January 4th and 5th, but we sent a camera along with them, and we'll show you what goes on backstage. And then we give away our final trip to join us at the Encore at Wynn Las Vegas. Holy steps, God, let's go.